Hey everyone, in today's video we're gonna go through the process of creating an asset. We'll take a look on modeling, sculpting, UV unwrapping, texturing and so on. And with all of that we're gonna create a stylized fence. This video is gonna be mainly an introduction to the creation of assets, so we are not making anything complex. I'm also not gonna explain everything to the individual programs like how to rotate an object in a viewport, so I recommend you to have some basic knowledge in them first. With all of that do, let's get started. We're gonna start with modeling. First thing we're gonna make a cube and we will scale it and move it to the side. Then I'm gonna set the origin point to the 3D cursor and I will add a mirror modifier. You can move the second cube manually, it's up to you. I'm gonna go to the edit mode and move with the cube to establish the length. Then we will create another cube and scale it to the size of a plank and then we'll just move it to the upper side and a little bit to the front. Then I'll just duplicate it and move it down. I'm gonna duplicate it one more time and make it like a plank that is holding these two planks together. You know, I just saw that on reference so why not add it in. I'm gonna apply the mirror modifier, select one of the wood planks and I'm gonna add more edges and edit the vertices to make it look more uneven. And then I'm gonna do that to all of the planks. Then we will make screws. So create a cylinder, I'm gonna set the vertices to 8. Scale it down and make it to the round shape. I'm just gonna merge the top at the center. Then I'll move it where the two planks met. I'm gonna scale the ones on the smaller plank. Now I will just join all of the parts together and I will duplicate the fence. Then I will hide one of them and I will add a subdivision surface. We will then add in support lines to the every corner and the reason is that when I'm gonna subdivide this mesh for sculpting, I don't want these corners to deform, I just want them sharp. We will also add in support lines to these screws. Now I'm gonna apply the subdivision at level 4 and now I'm gonna export this as an FPX. We are going to continue in ZBrush, so just import your mesh and drag it to the viewport. We are going to split this mesh into the individual parts so we can sculpt them one at a time. And before sculpting I'm gonna divide the plank I'm gonna sculpt on. And I'm also gonna merge the screws together. I'm going to use a clip curve brush. With this brush you can cut to the mesh and if you click two times Alt you can basically make a cut with an angle. And just like that I'm gonna do the cuts to the whole mesh. Then I will take a trim dynamic brush and I will sculpt on the corners. Thank you. 
And after that process I will select an herbs crack brush and I'm also gonna use a lazy mouse with it to even out my strokes. And basically I'm just gonna sculpt this wavy pattern to the planks. Now I'm gonna use an herb slash brush and add it to the mesh. I will again use the herbs crack brush with the lazy mouse, but I will just scale it down and I'll just make these little strokes to the planks. And with the damn standard brush you can make these sharp strokes that looks like someone sliced the plank with the knife. I will repeat this process with every plank. And now I'll sculpt the screws with the trim dynamic brush to make them look like metal. And at the last I will sculpt this pattern onto the top of the planks. I am also gonna add in details to the sides of these longer planks. So after you're done with the sculpting, we're gonna join all of the parts together. And in the decimation master we're gonna select pre-process current and then we will select decimate current at around 10 to 20%. Then we will export the mesh. Then we will import it to the blender and we will try to match it as best as we can with the low poly model. Or you can just make the low poly model from scratch to have the best result. Now we will go and UV unwrap the low poly model. So just select the corners you want to unwrap and mark them as a seam. Then go to the UV and select unwrap. For the screws I have forgot to delete the back side, so just go and delete every face that is not going to be seen. Also don't forget the smooth shade both of the meshes before exporting. Then just export low poly and high poly mesh. Now we're gonna go to the Substance Painter and I'm gonna import the low poly mesh at 2K resolution. And we are going to bake the textures from high poly model. Okay, so we're gonna add a base color for the wood. We're gonna create a folder for it and we're gonna do the same for the metal. In the metal base color we will set the metallic to 1. We're gonna select the metal folder and add a black mask and then we will select polygon fill and UV check fill. And then we will click on the screws to fill them with the metal color. Ok, so now we will add a curvature. And ambient occlusion.
and now we're gonna add a variation color and we're gonna use a grunge map. We're also gonna use a slope blur to add a stylized look. And we're gonna use another variation grunge map to add in darker spots on the fence. And now we can just export the textures. In the Unreal Engine we will just create a new material and we will plug all the textures to its slots. And we will put the material to the low poly fence mesh. And you can see that I have already made some fences as the test before. So this is how you create an asset for your game. I know that this video was not really specific, so I want you to write down to the comments what topic will do you like to see a video about. Also I have made a discord server, so if you want to help with anything, you can come and ask me. I will gladly answer if I will gonna know the answer. That's all, see you in the next video, bye bye.